Welcome to Chess Paints. Today we'll be talking about the Italian game. It starts off pawn e4, pawn e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5. Uh, from here we have c3, black will usually respond, knight. F6. Uh, as you can tell, this is probably an opening you've seen. Maybe not. Um, I've seen it a lot. It's it's fun at first. Um, I've seen it a lot, and it feels I don't know, to me it feels kind of basic and normal and kind of boring. But it is common, so it is an opening you probably want to be familiar with. From here, generally, I like to castle. Let's do that. <clears throat> um, the most common move from here for black is, I believe, d6. Yes, d6. Um, from here, it's just kind of uh, d3 is the most common. Uh, another common one, though, is d4. You have rook. E1, a uh, lot, lot of different moves from here. Uh, this is kind of the point where this opening usually starts to pull away from uh, like a chess database. At least when I played it, it this is about where it kind of just really changes up. Um, play B4, attack that bishop. And then once that bishop moves back to here, move that pawn up again and attack that knight if you're me. Um, I like pushing my pawns up a little bit sooner than most people do. Uh, of course, you also have queen e2. Um, that's, uh, honestly, if you do end up playing this, I would recommend queen e2. Um, or rook e1 and then queen d2, depending on what your opponent does, of course. Um, yeah, there, there's definitely room for creativity in any chess opening. Uh, I just This one doesn't excite me because I've seen it so much. But yeah, that is the Italian game. And I hope you enjoy playing it. And I hope you learn something. Because that, as always, is the important thing. Do not forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and share this video.